Oh man, shots fired, shots fired. YouTube and content creation game is extremely brutal. Not here to sob and cry, waste your time. But I want to share a quick perspective. Please listen. If you follow my content and stuff. First, my question. Do you think YouTube, TikTok, going viral, do you think it's a skill or do you think it's uh, luck? Right? Debatable? No, seriously. Because if you look at Mr. Beast, the largest creator, he analyzes every single video, he breaks them down. Retention grabbing, like literally. He analyzes every point, knows where to give like why the thumbnail should be like this or that for the maximum click-through rate or whatnot. So yes, he does that. But I'm just still curious. So based on that, it's supposed to be skill, Mr. Beast. But then you have some <laughs> sniper wolf, 30 mil subs. That really doesn't do much. I mean, I, I wish I had tits, I guess, right? I don't. Because if I did, all I had to do was just sit down and watch something and yet get millions of views, I guess. And I'm serious, like Sniper Wolf, just one of the very few creators, no hate. Just reacts basically, just watches a video and doesn't do it much, yet gets made a full-time living. That's totally fine, right? So what? Men have barely any chances just because they don't have tits or whatever to show? It's messy. And yes, I'm sharing this personal perspective today, personal point of view. If you look here, did my channel just get shadow banned for talking about Mr. Beast and whatnot, right? And these same videos, actually, if you look, it's greenish looking. I understand a little cringy sometimes. But I literally don't follow any pattern. Like, I don't follow any YouTubers, like, religiously that I copy them. I've created so many videos never had any sort of ill intention that you know i'm doing this for the sake of going viral or i want more clicks so views. yeah of course as a content creator i would like more attention more views nobody i mean why would someone create content i'm not doing it for myself but also another thing i want to mention i enjoy this content creation thing it's not less all about me oh you know what it's like a therapy for me i like to talk to my audience it just makes me happy it doesn't matter whatever uh, I get what kind of result I get out of this. It just makes me happy. But then, Rebel, it's not about you, right? What about us? You're not even giving any valuable stuff. Like, it's so boring. It's like green looking, cringe looking. Yeah, and random flashes. Not even proper HD quality. <sighs> yes, my camera is an old school. I like it this way. I have skills enough to edit polish to some extent. I just don't know. Like, I've seen people literally take all content, like other people's stuff, and they just basically do a voiceover on top of that. I've never done any of these. Like throughout my like YouTube journey, content creation journey, I've always created videos from scratch. I don't know why. I mean, I could literally follow success instead of like recreating something. I just like this style. I feel it's authentic the way I enjoy doing it. And that's it. I've never seen it. So like seen someone do it or whatever. And that's it. And the reason I'm doing this video today, and I bet this is gonna get like 10 views or so, you might have seen me talk about my personal story once in a while, and those videos get taken off. I make it private. I like to test the algo and whatnot. And if I see like the video doesn't perform and it's personal, 10 views, I'm like, you know, it, nobody cares. Just take it off. Not because I'm hiding something or I got emotionally hurt. Well, sometimes, yeah. It's a brutal journey. I do want to make it. But at the same time, I realized I have to fix things. Yesterday, oh man, TikTok is brutal. All these videos, you can see this, right? Did my channel get shadow banned? The comments, your content is bad. You're not shadow banned. People just don't want to see you talk. Whoa. Whoa. Straight up cap. People have made millions of views of this drama. Of this drama, all the small creators talking about shadow banning. Mm. So, another comment: Everyone's milking Mr. Beast, so I don't think it's about shadow ban. Your content is just kind of straight up crap. Wait, straight up cap or crap? Me, crap. I'm sure. Wow, 
I mean, like, I'm getting some likes here and there, but no follows and all that, so I'm, I'm like, curious. Yo, man, just a word of advice. I think if you change the layout and graphics in your videos to higher quality and flesh it out, it'll increase the amount of viewers that stay for the content. I do like the vibe a lot, though. Thanks, man. Yeah, this shit hurts my head. Doing too much. True. True. Let me see ex exactly what I did. The crazy part is... I so basically, just a little bit of movement. And because when I do 60 seconds and shorter videos, it's a totally different thing. It's not easy to get across the entire message in 60 seconds or less. So hence, you can see a little bit of crisp and quick editing here, right? And this my channel got Check shadow banned, maybe because I talked about Mr. Beast a couple of times. But keeping that aside, I came across another... Is it like too much? I'm really looking for real criticism. Because I also have to see who is giving me those advice and whatnot. If it's one of the other content creators, you can say whatever, right? Oh, maybe that guy doesn't like my style, or he's jealous, or doesn't want, me, doesn't want me to grow. So I really want to take all the different perspectives, like different people, like consumers, basically. If you're a consumer, like you consume my content, I'd rather listen to you a lot more than another creator, which is totally fine. Because if you're a huge creator, you must be, like, you must know something. And I'm always open, all right? I'm a student of life. But at the same time, if I change the way I do my things, I don't see the authenticity, right? So yes, I will polish my videos, try to get better with whatever I, you know, skill-wise. And in the future, maybe I'll change a few things. Yeah? Because when I, what I remember Shadow, Shadow Ban is, if you look at the views here, I can literally talk about trending topic, no issues. And then you can see how I can get views. It's not just always, always about the views. It does matter. But at the same time, there are topics that I cover because it trends and I can relate to. And there are topics that I feel I, people need to know. Just, you know, it's useful. However, not everybody's going to find it useful, right? It's been a long time. Like I said, I barely pay attention to TikTok or any of these. And I'm noticing, like, hold on. Why is my TikTok not going? I'm not, like, huge on TikTok. I don't really pay attention to that level. Because, yes, TikTok is a different style. The short form reels, it's a different style. I could literally, like, polish and do stuff just for TikTok. Yeah, right. They say make it just for the sake of, uh, you know, the native to that platform, whatever. Again, same thing. I'll just say the same thing. Then why are you wasting time? Why are you putting content out there which doesn't even work? Nobody sees it. You're just wasting so much time. Like you took, you took 20 minutes to do this video in two days ago and 17 people watched it. So you're not making an impact. Nobody is watching. Nobody's understanding. As in no, no awareness is being spread. What awareness are you spreading if nobody even watches your stuff and take action or even take precaution? You're right, you're right. So hence, since last night, my friend was here, I was like, you know, went out for a drink and I was thinking over this, the entire process. I was like, wow, it's gonna be brutal. I mean, I can keep going every single day, 570 videos, 1000 subscribers, like it's never gonna grow. I literally will have like 1000 videos and like 2000 videos and literally st stuck at 1000 subscribers. Doesn't even make sense. I'll have more videos than subscribers. That clearly shows that, obviously, my videos probably suck. Content sucks. Nobody likes it. Yeah. I mean, that's the result, right? What else can it be? I really wish I could control. I can't. If I gave this to a massive amount of people, right? Like I just mentioned, if I was a huge YouTuber or whatever, like, when lucky, no skills, who cares? If I had titties, sure. You don't even need skills. That itself mix it up for your skills, I guess, and makes you all your money, right? Huh? But I got no puppies. I only got two cats. Once in a while, I just bring them and we just talk about stuff. But well, regardless, again, I appreciate your comments. I do, honestly. It's a brutal journey. Some days are kind of low when you, I mean, this is what it is. The content creation game is low, right? If you're in the huge level, then you have a lot of groups networking this and that tiny running around seeking advice and whatnot but yeah there's a lot to learn and again i'm pushing myself self a little back so i can revalue this looking at all the comments i'm like i'm in this space which is brutal and i can't be upset over certain critics and stuff because i know what to expect i know this is gonna get brutal wilder in the future who knows there'll be trolls good bad whatever so 
But however, looking at a couple of the same stuff over and over again, and actually seeing the numbers, I'm like, yeah, you guys are right. You guys are right. How about let me know what kind of content you guys like, you know, you want to see. Because I it's not just about drama stuff. Everything I put out there I actually mean it. I've done so much research on this, the last one, the uh, much worse than Logan Paul script to zoo. Not even a clickbait. It's like thinking, what what did I achieve by calling out scammers for like years while the scammers just got richer and richer and richer? All I did was like waste my time and nobody cares. So rather focus on something, right? Like feed myself or create some other valuable stuff. I guess, yeah, that's what it is. I'm not CoffeeZilla, right? Not even trying to be. I just have a different niche and I feel like drama is fun in life to some extent. But what if we can bring drama with some information so we can also learn from it as well as laugh? Yeah, and that's about it. That's my thing. I just want to make people happy and maybe give back something so they can also learn. This world is pretty tight. It's getting tougher, tougher. All we could use is some laughter and some yeah positive people, basically. I might come a little bit negative here and there, but it's, it's not negative. I just address the negative stuff. And that's about it. Anyways, thanks for listening to my rant. Whoever you are, if you watch it, thanks. And yeah, if you never watch it, obviously you'll never know exactly what I just said. Again, thanks for sticking around. I truly appreciate and in the future hope I can get keep you know getting better with every single video. Alright, I'm out.